Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen here on the Sam Channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. That is the Sam Channel, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Here we are the next to the last day of May. I hope that your Memorial Day weekend was a good one. We had clouds, and uh, at least for a little bit, we had sprinkles. We had a few showers, not enough to really ruin any outdoor plans. So I hope that you were able to get out there and uh, take advantage of a fairly decent weekend. I mean, it, the sun wasn't shining the whole time, but uh, we did get some sun in now and then. The temperatures were a bit cooler, but you can already tell there's a little more mugginess in the air. I started to feel it yesterday, uh, even though temperatures only made it to 83 82 is where we should be on average, so we were just one degree warmer than the average, but there's a little more humidity trying to work back into our air, and this morning, even though skies are mainly clear, there's a few clouds you can see associated with a little weak disturbance back to the west. Uh, that disturbance today is going to help touch off maybe a few showers today, even though we didn't see any yesterday. Uh, there were a few just kind of out of the area. Uh, today, because of that disturbance, there will be a few more showers that try to pop up late in the afternoon because of that. Uh, and we'll see a, l a lot more sunshine today with cloud cover and that chance of a shower. But other than that, it's still pretty quiet. Pretty... Uh, uh, what shall I call it? It's not, it's not a stale air mass. It's just one of those air masses that is just waiting on some kind of little trigger to maybe pop up a shower. Uh, it's, it's going to be a very typical summer pattern that we'll see for the rest of this week and into the upcoming weekend. Temperatures are going to be quite warm. As you see here on the 10-day blender, get ready for it because uh, summer-like air is coming. So we'll go mid-80s today, a little bit warmer than yesterday and the day before, 85 again for tomorrow, the last day of May. Then the 1st of June is on Thursday. We go into the mid to upper 80s with a little more humidity, dew points climbing into the 60s. And look at those 90s for the first time this year. It's either going to happen on Friday or Saturday, it appears. First time we hit 90-something, or at least the 90-degree mark for the uh, year of 2023. Then we stay in the mid to upper 80s and humid all the way through the upcoming weekend and into next week. And, of course, uh, starting Thursday is the 400-mile yard sale. And this looks very typical for those of you that are going along U.S. 68 for the yard sale all weekend long. Pretty typical stuff. I mean, it's going to be warm. It's going to be humid. Uh, there will be those late day pop-up showers each day. It, again, pretty typical stuff uh, for a very summer-like pattern that we're about to launch into and stay there for a while, it appears. All right, on this Tuesday morning, let's take a look at temperatures as of 4.30 a.m. As I record the podcast, you've got uh, some 50s down around the Cumberland Plateau in southeastern Kentucky. 50s to almost 60 in a few places here in the southern part of the state. But look, almost 70 or approaching 70 back into western Kentucky. There's a little bit more cloud cover back here, so those clouds acting as a blanket, holding in temperatures a little bit warmer, because you can go from 68 to 58 in just a matter of a few counties here. Same thing on the other side. That's where those clouds you saw in the satellite view are this morning. Where the skies are clear, it's a comfortable mid to upper 50s to low 60s. Uh, it is going to be a muggy day, muggier, I should say. Not really oppressively muggy, but it's going to be, you can tell, there's going to be more moisture in the air. The dew points are going to rise. It's going to be a little, the air is going to be a little thicker 
and especially toward afternoon and evening, early evening, that's when we'll see some pop-up showers and a few thunderstorms. Let me show you that on the model map this morning. We can watch the next couple of days. Now, finally, that low-pressure system that's been over the Carolinas uh, just bringing, it was <laughs> just not a good weekend for the Carolinas and the Virginias because of that low-pressure system uh, that's been just kind of here rotating off the, the coast here and throwing back the moisture. That's why we had the clouds over the course of the weekend. But now we've got a, kind of a moisture-laden atmosphere. There's not really the cold front around. There's, there's that little area of low pressure in the trough that's back into western Kentucky. That disturbance may alone be the... Uh, instigator for a few showers that pop up later this afternoon and into the early evening hours. This is a very typical, almost summer-like pattern, and you can see them popping up here, just here, there, and everywhere. Um, it's not going to be anything that's uh, going to last very long. These things will just pop up with the heat of the day. You'll see the clouds building up and towering up in the afternoon and then somebody gets a thunderstorm then it's over and by the time we get close to sunset they fade away because they lose that daytime energy so we're going to have that the next several days you're going to see that a little more pronounced i think tomorrow we're going to find that a uh, little blip in the atmosphere setting off uh, a few more of these showers and thunderstorms especially during the afternoon and evening but not everybody's going to get wet but these are the kind where you say you know there's only like a 20 to 30 percent chance or coverage of who gets rained on but when it does rain it could be briefly heavy rain a brief gusty wind uh it's going to be like that pretty typical summer pattern all week long, it's going to do this, the what I like to call rinse and repeat, because it happens in the afternoon and after dark, as you see here, they all fade away. Again, we don't have any major cold fronts coming in. We don't have any major systems coming in. This is all just going to be what we call diurnal heat of the day. The sun heats up the surface of the earth. You get a lift in the atmosphere. Those parcels of air get lifted along with the moisture. Boom, a thunderstorm. It rains out. And then by dark or by sunset, we lose the daytime energy and everything fades away. It's going to be that pretty much every day. So if you are planning the uh, planning to set up at the 400-mile yard sale along US 68, that's pretty much your forecast for the rest of the week. And I know I've got a lot of people watching. Uh, we're kind of the official, unofficial forecasters for the 400-mile yard sale. I've been given that distinction. No pressure. No pressure at all. Okay, so uh, <laughs> here we go. Into uh, today, we see... Uh, that shower activity still associated with that old low in the Virginias, North Carolina. Then you see some uh, activity, thunderstorms lining up in the plains, but high pressure is the blocker here. It's uh, like a defensive tackle. It's uh, trying to fend off shower activity. The only problem is we get the flow off the Atlantic and that old low and these little boundaries set up and they will touch off these afternoon and early evening showers. But as you see here, not everybody gets that. Uh, somebody may get rained on down the road. Nobody gets a drop. No one gets anything. It's going to be like this over and over, rinse and repeat. Here we go into Wednesday, same thing, different day. As you see, here's uh, Wednesday night into Thursday. Maybe a little more coverage here and there as far as who gets what. And then at the end of the day, they fade away. Here we go into Friday and then into Saturday. There is a frontal boundary, but it's you can't really call it a frontal boundary. It's just kind of a, a weak little boundary that comes through. But 
we're going to keep this here Sunday, Saturday into Sunday. Still the possibility of a shower popping up, even though it's not painted on the map there. That's that's where we stand as far as this week is concerned. So again, stuff like you've seen before at any of these uh, yard sales, especially this one being the first weekend in June, it is much like this. You get a sunny day, you see the puffy clouds and everything looks fine. It's a little warm and humid. And then in the afternoon, somebody's going to get a storm. And so you have to get a tarp and cover up your the stuff you're selling at your table or, or your booth or wherever you're set up for the yard sale. And it, you know how it is. You guys are used to this, though. So enjoy. It's going to be a good one. And it starts Thursday and runs through Sunday along US 68. All right. It's back to the radio this morning for me, Sam 100.7 on your FM dial starting at six o'clock this morning. I hope to uh, have you listen, give away some more freebies, rides and slides and all that kind of stuff going on as uh, we begin the summer. uh, Well, we're going to call it the 107 days of summer. You see what I did there? 107. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, Yeah, very nice. Uh, That's where we give away some extra stuff, a bunch of stuff every day. Yeah. So be listening for that. It hasn't quite officially started yet, but it will in a few days. So listen in this morning. I love to have you listen at Sam 100.7. In the meantime, have a great day. God bless you. Thank you, as always, for watching, and I'll see you on the radio.